Hello, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Christina Fogo. Today I'm going to make old fashioned fudge and this fudge is so decadent and creamy and just simply incredible. Once I discovered how to make this, this is a treat that I look forward to every year for the holidays. And I know old fashioned fudge is kind of known to be a little bit tricky, but I have to tell you, with a candy thermometer, it really takes the guesswork out and it's actually quite simple. And this delicious fudge makes a wonderful gift for friends and family too. So the ingredients I'm going to use is two cups of sugar, I have two thirds cup of whole milk, two tablespoons of corn syrup, one fourth teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla, two tablespoons of butter, and that'll soften as it sits. So that doesn't have to be room temperature or anything, just it'll kind of soften a little bit and be perfect by the time you get to it. I also have two ounces of unsweetened chocolate, and I use a good quality chocolate and coarsely chop it. I'm going to roughly chop a half cup of nuts, and if you don't like nuts, go ahead and leave them out. Pistachios are really pretty for the holidays, or even coconut and raisins are nice additions too. I'm also going to be using a candy thermometer, a spatula, and I also like to use a really heavy wooden spoon because it needs to be strong and we're doing a lot of stirring. I'm also going to use a three quart saucepan, a two quart will work, and I have a nine by five loaf pan and a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to start off with a little bit of butter, probably, I don't know, a little bit less than a half tablespoon of softened butter. And I like to butter my loaf pan really well. I'm also going to butter the parchment paper. And this little bit of parchment paper will make a huge difference when you're done and you want to lift the candy out. It comes right out. So I always do that. And I also like to run a little bit of butter on the sides of my pan, not the bottom, just the sides. Now that I have everything ready to go, I'm going to move all my ingredients over near the stove so they're all next to me where I'll be working. I have found it is very difficult to be searching for ingredients while you're stirring nonstop, and that's when things go wrong. So it is so much easier to have everything right there where you need it. I'm going to add the sugar, the whole milk, the chocolate, the corn syrup, and the salt. I'm going to turn the heat on to medium. I'm going to mix this up a bit and stir constantly until the chocolate is melted and the sugar is dissolved. This is going to take a little bit. A lot of these tips I picked up reading vintage cookbooks. I love vintage cookbooks. I just love them. In fact, the tip about buttering just the size of the pan, that I picked up from an old family cookbook that my mother-in-law gave me. She grew up having fudge as a special treat for the holidays, and her memories sound so magical. I really wanted to learn how to make this recipe. Now the sugar is dissolved and the chocolate is melted, I'm going to attach the candy thermometer. Be careful not to let it touch the bottom of the pan. There's a little bit of a stirring break here. I'm just going to stir it every once in a while. I'm also going to watch the candy thermometer really carefully. Sometimes it climbs kind of fast. And I'm going to cook this until it reaches 234 degrees. I'm really babysitting the candy thermometer now. It's really close, so I can't go very far away. It's at 234 degrees, so I'm going to quickly remove it from the heat. I'm going to add the butter. I'm going to let the butter melt on the top of the fudge and I'm not going to stir it in, I'm just going to leave it alone and I'm going to leave the candy thermometer in a spoon just as it is and I'm going to wait for the temperature to lower to 120 degrees and this usually takes about 45 minutes for me but sometimes, you know, candy is kind of funny, it'll go a little bit faster, it might go a little bit slower so I'll just come back and check it every once in a while to see where it's at but once it's at 120 degrees, it's ready for the next step. Okay, so that's 120 degrees. I'm going to remove the candy thermometer. Stir in the vanilla. 
and I have everything ready to go because this part goes very fast. Once it turns, it turns really quick. So I have my pan ready and my nuts ready to go. I'm carefully stirring in the vanilla and melted butter. If I go too fast, it splashes. I'm gonna stir this for about five to 10 minutes. My arm does get really tired, but it's so worth it. What I'm looking for is that the fudge will lose its gloss and become dull, and it's really hard to stir. I'm gonna quickly stir in the nuts. and get this into the pan. I'm just gonna smooth out the top a little bit and let that cool and then I can cut into pieces. The parchment paper is so handy, this comes right out. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the like button. The recipe's on the website, there's a link down below. It's christinafold.com. It is beyond good. I need to bring this stuff back. This stuff is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>